How's it going, welders on YouTube? So a quick video on pulsing. Now, uh, typically uh, you pulse for a few reasons. Uh, me personally, I only pulse weld for three reasons when I actually have the option. To be honest with you, most machines that you see in the field either probably won't have pulse or uh, the pulse feature will be broken. But if you are one of the lucky few that gets a, a relatively new machine where uh, all the functions work, you might use pulse. But uh, the three reasons I would use pulse, uh, one, to um, control the heat of whatever part that I'm welding, especially if it's thin, it uh, lowers the overall heat input that goes into the part. Two, if uh, the part has to be pulsed to even be welded, uh, for it to even be possible. Uh, a good example of that, if you look at some of my previous videos, would be um, the TIG pulse welding uh, titanium that has to be manually pulsed there's no other way to do that part it's pretty much impossible and then the third reason to use pulse is uh, just strictly for beat appearance uh, if you control your travel speed uh, pulsing is almost like cheating you could either do lay wire or if you're just fusing something you can get some beautiful amazing beads uh, with pulsing and uh, you can spot when people use pulse you know a majority of the guys on instagram who have those uh, lovely welds that everyone you know clicks a million likes on a lot of those are pulsed it's mostly the machine not the welder but the video that you're about to see i took a few years ago at a company called green bros uh, for those who don't know green bros they manufacture agricultural equipment for the cannabis industry and i was just doing a quick experiment on some of their parts and I went from 500 pulses per second all the way down to 50 pulses per second. Now, when you look at the uh, final result of the photographs, uh, my beads look the same because of my particular technique, the way I oscillate the torch, uh, I'm not going to get the appearance for each pulse. But when you look at the heat affected zone at the pictures at the end, you'll definitely see a difference between the 500 pulses per second and the 50 pulses per second. And also take a note of how each one of them sounds. Now, uh, apologies in advance for the uh, video. I had to pull it off of my uh, Facebook account and it's really, really old, so the quality isn't good, but the sound is what's most important. So without further ado, let's get to the pulsing. 500. Four fifty. Four hundred. Three fifty. Three hundred.
250. Two hundred. One hundred and fifty pulses. One hundred pulses. And last but not least, 50 pulses per second. look pretty much the same. I'll have a photo of the results.